You can come. I don't mind. Today's October 24th, 2019. It's the day that the opposing uh, attorney called me about contesting the will. I don't know if he's moving forward with the fraud. He supposedly sent me an answer that I'm going to hand it off to an attorney. See what happens. That might have been day again. Otis is very, very scared of gunshots. I don't target practice at my home for that very reason. And I'm kind of concerned about, you know, bothering the neighbors. Unless I'm going to knock that no trespassing. Of course, there's bad blood between the weird guy up here and this family because somehow, and this is what Joan told me, and she heard a lot from Jim Bonner. Oh gosh, Jim Bonner didn't like Ricky. Well, doesn't like Ricky. I'm sorry. But uh, Joan didn't like Ricky either. And Jim Bonner would say, I mean, it wasn't awful things. I mean, Jim Bonner told Joan that uh, Ricky's son is gay. And, you know, that's neither here nor there. I think gay people are born gay. Since you want my opinion about it. Come on, if you're on come, girl. You're fine. And... I was born straight. No man could ever make me gay, so I happen to believe you're born however you're born. But uh, Jim Bonner told Joan that Ricky has two gay sons by two different women, which is kind of interesting. And in in that it, you know, sort of cries out that it's genetic instead of environment of course like i said ricky ricky and uh his son are dominated by lana salison which you know if that's what works for him hey obviously his first wife didn't work out too well if they're not together again i mean anymore Supposedly there's something, something uh, as far as the inspection goes that this house just can't pass. Electrical, plumbing. I'm not sure, but they can't sell it. But I've seen some weird, well, I hate to talk about people's looks because look at my looks. I'm weird looking as hell. But weird looking woman who I assume is Ricky's sister. I think it's a pretty cl close assumption since Ricky's sister is, I think, is the one who owns it. And that's where Jim Bonner lives. He's the one that told me all that stuff about Ricky. Which, like I said, I mean, he chooses to support thieves, attempted murders, and fraudsters. That's his choice. I can live with him here. He ain't gonna, as long as he doesn't bother me, I'm not going to bother him. But yeah, he was sitting in the courtroom on the side of the uh, the uh, daughters who tried to claim in court. Well, they're trying to claim in a suit. They didn't speak much in court. That uh, their mother was mentally incompetent. And, of course, Joan was never mentally incompetent. My baby was, was physically weak. But, gosh, she had a sharp mind and I loved her mind. We had the, my sense of humor and her sense, I guess her sense of humor, it all meshed. And everything, you know, we had a great life. The times we didn't was when your daughter would come into the scene. And from March 2018 until September 2018, we didn't see any daughters. So it was, it was great. No, I'm not. Otis. 
Otis! Otis! Saddleson, the male person. And uh, we had heaven on earth. Oh, that's Ricky Saddleson, the one that sits with it that supported them in the mail truck. Uh, Otis, you're going to have to get, either get out of the way or stop coming with me. You understand? I don't want to give them any excuse to mess with me. And if Otis was an excuse, then, you know, screw it. He didn't wave this time. And that's fine, I didn't wave at him. But, uh, yeah, they tried to murder her in January, and we were on, well, she put in a vape, anything that Debbie fixed anyway, but we're on to them, and so, but Joan didn't tell me until February, well, now, she, that, the daughter Debbie Rutledge, sent up poison and we actually discovered it was poison. Otis! Otis! Chill out Otis. You, I'm going to have to start locking you up at home, buddy. I'm sorry, but you're becoming a liability. And we discovered it was poison. And uh, she didn't need any, but she got sick a little while later. And she, this is where Mac and Mary lives. They're not on my side either. But, you know, I didn't expect people to be on my side. I don't know why, but for some reason people just fought you know why is um, and I'm not stating I'm that good looking I mean this is what I look like I'm not I'm not on that. ooh Ricky Salison shooting is he shooting at me well there goes Otis scared Oh God. Is he shooting towards me? Well, he must be having problems then. He's got their dog upset too, Mac and Mary's. scared the hell out of Otis. I hate that. Son of a bitch. That shows how petty he is. I mean, he shot that because I was walking on this road, which is a public state road. I guess he's trying to frighten me. Because that's the first shots I've heard out of his house in like two years. But that's the kind of people I'm dealing with. Bad people. So you saw an uh, example of that. I mean, it even upset Mac here. So he's a little upset. Maybe his white well. I don't know. I think he chose to sell. Although I think his wife does dominate him. Poor Otis. Oh God. Otis headed down that way, and that's a steep fucking way. 
son of a bitch. You see, he's very scared of gunshots. So, but Ricky Salison is a bad person. Someone else. Now they're going down the other way. Good. At least I don't have to worry about Otis right now. I'm a good mind to yell, you missed. <laughs> that would be cute. I don't know how much he would appreciate it. And hell, he might come down here and murder me for some reason. I kind of think he has a crush on me, and that's why Lana had to follow us when I got him to carry Ricky's ashes. I might eat an eye. Do I want to do that? Perhaps. Perhaps. 